time now for today's gardening segment with Dave Epstein. So what do you have for us today, Dave? All right, Anna. So we've got these Montauk daisies, also referred to as Nippon daisies. They're native to Japan and China, but they have sort of naturalized. In other words, they're all over the place down on uh, Long Island, so that's why they're called Montauk daisies. Now, I shot some uh, footage here of this on the corner of my neighbor's house. I planted this for them about a year ago. And what I try to do when I'm working in gardens is have succession of flowers. So this is a great plant because it's kind of the final plant to bloom in the fall. It's an October bloomer. It's white. It really shows up when you have everything else blooming. Now, a couple of little tips on this. You can continue to cut it back to about 8 to 12 inches during the course of the early summer up until about mid to late June and that'll keep it tighter and bushier if you don't want it to get too big. You can already notice on this the growth for next year. You can already see it uh, and, and those buds will be there all through the whole winter. Now one thing about this plant, uh, it, it gets bushy, it flowers, it's wonderful, the pollinators love it. I gotta be honest with you, I do not like the smell. I, I just don't like the smell of these things. They're great outside. They're great to look at. I cut some of these. If you were watching all morning, there was a little vase behind me because I wanted to have it to talk about it, but I think they stink. But they are beautiful, so keep them at bay. You might like the smell, but I don't say that very much, but I don't like these. <laughs> So funny to hear about a flower that doesn't smell good, but at least they're <laughs> nice to look at. You can just look at them from far away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Dave, thank you so much.